Hi, my name is Andreas and in this video I want to show you how to get the value of a CSS variable with JavaScript. So for that I added a button to the code we saw pre in the previous video about setting a CSS variable with JavaScript. Now we try to get the value which we were setting. So to do that we go into our JavaScript and what we can do here is first a console.log and then we take the get computed style. We want the computed style for the document dot document element. And from there we want the property value via get property value and in our case of the background color. And if we run it, we get the color which we were setting here via the set property. If I do the same above the set property and run it again, we will get first the value which was set in the CSS file. Then we override the value and then we get our new value. Now, if we want to get the current color of the text, which we can change here while the color input, with this button, all we have to do is write another query selector. So document query selector. This time I just go for my one button and not checking for any inputs or any buttons um, in the page. So we add an event listener and the event here is click. And when the button is clicked, we have our function of the event. And in here, all we need to do is log of exactly the same thing we had here just that we change from the background to the text color. So now when we run the code again, we first get still our console logs from here. So let's remove them, run the code again. And then when we go for get text color, we see we get the text color, which is set in the CSS file. And when I change the text color here now to red, we get the current text color red. Okay, that's how you get the CSS variable via JavaScript with the help of the get computed style function. Thank you.